Hi, my name is Anita Mora, and I'm a decorative painter. And uh, I want to say thanks for everyone um, liking my last video on the uh, Christmas tags. Um, and this time I did a snowman, and it's a cheers tag. And uh, this is done on the journaling tag, and the size is 10. So it's 5 and 1 8 by 10 and a half. You can get the, the Ranger tags and you can get them in a scrap store. Um, I think I got mine on Simon Says. And uh, so I'm really excited to uh, do this one with you. I'm going to show you um, a few little um, easy techniques if you're beginners. And so I'm going to put my camera down and then we'll get started. Okay. Now, when I posted a picture, I had realized that I forgot to add my little snowflakes and some shadows, shadow around my um, snowman. So the first thing I do is I'm going to put gesso on here. And I'm going to be using Deco Art uh, products and some uh, Black Gold Dynasty brushes. And the gesso that I have is uh, premium. And sometimes you'll find them a little thick. I just put a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna use the uh, Palmer brush. These are really good for um, applying mediums to it. So sometimes you see it really thick. So I just put a little bit of water. You can put extender in there just to thin it out. I don't need a, uh, a thick, layer I just want to like a nice thin and it doesn't have to be uh it can be in different uh directions just to add a little texture in the background I'll put all the um the description of the the parks that I'll be using in the in the underneath the video and this will be a uh, free line drawing it'll be on my website uh for you to download and and uh, follow along so I'm going to dry this up When it's a thin layer, um, it won't take as long to dry. Um, there's different other gessos that you can use. It doesn't have to be uh, mixed media. So it's, it's not very thick. I just added a layer just to give it texture. Okay, now I want to base coat uh, first layer with, um, it's called uh, Blue Raspberry. I'll be using Royal uh, Navy as well and uh, Warm White. And I do, so I'm going to be using, if I can find my brush. Okay, I'll use the Palmer brush uh, to do this, this slip slap. Um, technique there. I usually use oval wash. If you don't have uh, this, you can use an oval wash um, brush. Okay, I'm going to be using blue raspberry. Okay. 
when I do this, it uh, this too doesn't have to be very thick. So I'm going to add another um, layer. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna dry this up and then we'll add another layer and I will show you the slip slap uh, wet technique. When I did this, um, the you'll see the white will be mostly in the middle mixing and the dark color will be more towards the edge. Okay, I'm going to give another coat. I'll get my um, Royal Navy ready on my palette in uh, some warm white. Always mix your bottles before you uh, put uh, your paint on the palette. Okay. So I'm going to give another coat. And you want to kind of work a little fast. Uh, you don't want your paint to dry too fast. You can always put extender on your bristles uh, just to keep it um, for longer play time. And the paint will stay a little wet longer. Okay, now I'm going to keep my brush dirty and I'm going to pick up some white. Okay, and I'm going to slip, whoops. Slip up in the little areas there. I'm going to pick up some blue and I'm going to put this towards the, the sides. Mix this up. Okay, now what I like to do is I will grab a, um, mix this up a little bit more. I'll grab a mop, mop brush and I'll have a paper towel handy. And I'm just gonna soften a couple little areas because it is a little bit of like mixed media, but I just wanna tone down some of the brush strokes and I'm gonna wipe some of my uh, paper towel just to keep it uh, taking the wet paint off. And I got my finger marks on these. It's a little harder to hold the, the tag. So I just want to soften some of this up. Okay, I like that just the way it is. Okay. And clean this up with um, uh, rubbing uh, hand sanitizer, just so your paint doesn't stick in it. It'll just wipe your bristles. And it'll just take some of the paint off right away so it doesn't stay in there. Clean it up a little bit better after. Okay. What I'm gonna do is just clean my little area for a second. Whoops. Baby wipes. Okay, and then I'll just dry that up. Okay, 
I'm going to dry this. I have a few stencils to that I'm going to be using. Um, just use what you have. You're going to make sure it's really, really dry. Okay, I'm gonna, in the, my background, I used a stencil and all my stencils are from Studio R12. I'll have the little um, numbers for it in the description. It's almost like crackled um, stencil. And I'm gonna be using a stencil pro brush. Okay, I have, uh, this is a number one. And there's also, um a one and a quarter inch i can use this one because i'll need it for uh, my snowman too okay i'm going to use a uh, warm white i'm going to make a fresh puddle okay i'm going to pick some up with my uh, brush and i'm going to wipe some off and i just want to lightly oops it's a little dark. I didn't take enough. Just in a few little areas. Okay, it's a little darker than this one. That's that's okay. But if you want to tone it down, just take um paper towel and then just. Wipe some off. There, that's fine. Okay, it's just to put some in the background. Then I also used um my stencil, uh, not stencil, sorry, my stamp. I used the stamp set here. Uh, it's a grunt strip from Stupendo, and. I did use this one and a couple of the dots. You can also use this one. I can do this one and just show what that looks like. Okay. And I use the archival ink. Okay. So you're just gonna randomly um, base some of the stamps. I didn't put too much in the middle where my uh, snowman was going to go. Okay. And then take the little circle and put some in the middle area. Right where the snowman was going to go. Okay, I'm just going to wash my fingers here. Okay, now I want to show you um, how to do uh, this here. It's, um, it's a perfect circle, and uh, sometimes you always have a hard time um, with the lines, right? Well, I want to show you how I did that without struggling with the lines. So I'm going to put my snowman about here but i like using this is a stencil i got mine on um on one of the painting sites so 
you know, you have different sizes and they're really, really good for this type of um, this type of uh, painting where you don't have to worry about the lines. Okay, so my snowman's gonna go about here. Okay, now I'm gonna need a little bit more white. And so I need another paper towel. You use a lot of paper towel. Okay, if you're worried about it moving a little, uh, you can always uh, get a little piece of scotch tape just to hold it a little bit. That way it's not going to move. Okay, I'm going to pick up some white and I'm going to wipe as much as I can. Okay, and I'm going to start in the center. Oh, yeah, I got to make sure I don't. Use the little hole punch. Okay, so now what I did is I'm going to dry this. Now add another layer, but I wanted some blue showing. That gives a little bit of your shading for your, your snowman. There's a little bit of shading in there. Okay. Now I'll do it again. And this time I'm going to dab. That way I'll get a little texture in my snowman. So I'm just going in the up down motion. And it'll give me a little texture and, and very like a uh, different color in here. Okay, so that's my my white that's the bottom and for the top of the head i used no oh, that one's too small i think it was this one right here okay so i used this one and i'll just try it a little bit there Now, if you're not sure where about the put it, take the line drawing, and I'm gonna put it right about here. And I use this tape. This cover will cover uh, where my hat's gonna go. I'm gonna cover where my hat. No, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Uh, try not to get that hole. I'm gonna dry this up and I'll give another layer, a little bit more white. And again, I'm going to dab. And then I want the, I don't want my little um, area here to be showing where the other uh, circle was. So I'm going to make that a little bit brighter. Okay. There I have my snowman. I'm going to dry that up. And I think I'm done with that stencil. I can rinse that off. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. And I'm going to trace my, okay, I'm going to take my black graphite paper a second.
Namaskaras. Okay. So trace out, oops, trace out the hat. You can use a ruler if you want to. So we'll make sure it's there. Okay, there we go. And my glasses. My skirt. I have a little heart. Okay, the first thing I did um, was the purple because the purple takes a, a few layers. Okay, I'm going to do an undercoat with a uh, wild orchid. And I like using a filter brush in the flag. Oh, I kind of brought a flat down. Okay, I have a filter and it's a number six. Okay, I'm gonna do the headband. Also use the edge of your, uh, the bristles just to make a straight line. And then my uh, scarf. So I did a couple of this and uh, then the top coat. Don't apply the paint too, too thick. I like to apply uh, thin layers. Okay, and my mitt. And I turn my piece often around just to get to the edge part. Okay, 
And for my glasses, I used a rigger for this. And this is a number two. Okay, with that. These are great for lines, just beautiful. It, uh, um, when you do the outline, this will be fixed with the black. So I don't overload my paint, my bristles with uh, paint. So you can have a nice lines. Okay. Now, while that dries the first coat, I'm going to give another coat, but I wanted to um I want to like add some little shading around the face and the body while it's just the first layer. I also I used um colonial blue for this for the for the shading. Okay. And I, I like using angle brush. You can use shaders. So I have um, a half, half inch. So I'm gonna use colonial blue and um, got to do my little um, shading along the, the heart here. I just wanna fix that up. I'm just gonna soften it up. Okay. So I'm gonna add some colonial gray here on the side. And I like to soften it up. Okay. And for this part here, just go along the top edge. It's okay if I'm gonna go over the carrot, I'm gonna paint that after. And just walk that down just a little bit so it doesn't have that harsh line. Okay, and I'm gonna also do Here, oops, I have too much water. Okay, and then underneath here. Want that just a little wider. Okay. I'm gonna also do the nose. The nose will be here. Okay. And also down by the arm. All right. Now it should be good to give another coat and then I'll do the top coat. Okay, again, this is a wild orchid. Need a little bit more paint.
just go with the same direction when you're base coating. So one base. And then my mitt. I'm going to dry that up and I'll give my top coat. Oh, I can do my glasses as well. I'll do the glasses first. Gotta make sure that you don't put your arm on the wet paint. Oops. Stopped there. Okay. I'm going to dry that up and I'm going to put my top coat, which the color that I picked is um, purple pizzazz. Okay. The reason I did an undercoat, because this color is a little transparent. It'll need a couple of coats for this too. It's not as thick. Oops, when you go over the line, just wipe it with your hands quickly or a clean brush. Just turn this around. In my mitt. Okay, I'm going to dry that up.
Let's look in Coco's on hope. Way better. Get the line here. And I went over my way, just swipe it off. Oops, got going to us. Drop my paintbrush. I'm just going to clean this up right here. minutes and then I'm gonna add some little there's um a little bit of us uh, like um dots on here that's used with a um stencil okay now join it on up Okay, my dots, it's, um, so the random dots from Studio R12, and there's also these where it prevents you from um, putting um, the unwanted paint there. You can just move this around, or you can use uh, whatever shape that your stencil, your, where you don't want painted. Um, I'm going to use a smaller one, Stencil Pro, this is a 3.8, and I'm going to use the wild uh, ochre uh, color. So I'm going to need another paper towel. Wild ochre. So I'm going to wipe as much as I can off my brush. Okay, and I'm going to start over here. Over here, you can protect that little side. So now I have circles. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some uh some some color, and I have uh, dioxazin purple. I love this color. I'm going to use my angle brush and I'm going to float along the headband. Right over here on this side. I want to go a little wide. Right here. And um, I put some at the bottom of the mat. And where the thumb is. So add a little line. And I did the bottom of uh, my uh, scarf. The edge there. And then you have to kind of let that part dry before you add over uh, another float over top of it so it doesn't smudge. Okay, so I have one right here and over here. Okay. 
Yeah, and then I have one to separate the two uh, scarves here. Just use the point of your um, your uh, brush to uh, get to the tight little corner there, and then just clean it up. Okay. And then I did the bottom over here. Got a little bit too much water on my brush. Yeah. There's a little crease here, so you can do that. Okay. And that's it for the, for the shading on that part. Okay. I want to do uh, my cheeks before I put on my carrot. And the cheeks I did with a Lezarin Crimson. Just need a little bit. And I did the heart with that color as well. Okay, when I do cheeks, I just love using these decorator uh, dry brushes. And you use this dry, so you dry brush the cheeks. So I loaded with the Lizarin Crimson. and. This is such a dark color that you want to remove as much as possible. And you also wanna make sure that you get the edges as well. So it's always best to go light than applying really dark color. Okay, now I'm gonna add some, like where the carrot is. First the cheek and over here. So they do nice round little circles. And there's my cheeks. And that's it for that. Okay. And for the heart, um, what I did was I used like a, a flat, uh, like a paint, any bristle brush handles, not the bristles, but the handle of your brushes. Just add like a, one big dot here. It could be a primitive heart if you want, or just round a uh, little edge. And then I use my, I can find my rigger. And then what I did was I moved down the paint. That way it gives you a little uh, nice round edge at the top. Make this as big as you want. I just ruined my point. Okay, it's going to be a little longer. Okay, now that needs to dry. And then I'm going to do my carrot with the nose, which is uh, scarlet. And for that, I used a uh, round brush. So I have a number nine. You don't have to use it that big. You can use it a little smaller. So I fully load my brush, okay, with paint. And I'm gonna start at the edge here. And I kind of had wiggled my uh, br bristles. Because you don't want a straight nose. Carrot's not straight. And then just loop it up when you get to the point. We need some lamp black. We need to do the hat, um, the glasses, the boots, boots or shoes. 
Okay. I'm going to use the rigger for the little uh, brim of the hat here, the little top hat. Make sure I don't touch the nose because it's still wet. Okay, and I'll do the top here. I'm just gonna do the edge and then I'll use my filbert brush to do the inside. This brush really does straight lines. It's very nice. Okay, I'm going to use um, the cool brush. Oops. And then you doesn't have to be straight. It's it's a top hat, it's old. Okay, and my glasses. For my glasses, I use the rigger just because it does um straight line in there. So make sure not to touch the wet paint. I'm going to apply a little bit of paint at a time. Okay, and for the, I uh, just want to pick this up. Okay, and for the the mouth, I used the um, smaller brush, which um, the 10th eight, uh, it's a extra long detail. Start from one end. If you want it a little wider, just add pressure to your brush. Okay, and then I want this a little right to the nose. Okay. For the arms, I used um, burnt umber. Okay, and I use the rigger as well. Make it wide at the top and then just um, thinner at the bottom part. Okay, and Right here, this is going to go over top this, the body. Okay. 
little legs. Oh, I forgot to do the shoes. I'll do the shoes right after. Right down. Okay, I'm going to do those shoes. There's a little heel here. I'm just going to wipe some of this off. I got the shoe a little bit too big here. Okay. All right. And then my little martini that is green. And I use matcha green. I just love this matcha green. And my um, uh, my little olive was done with um, a light avocado. Okay. I'm gonna do my martini with much of green. And while it's wet, just pick up some um, red avocado and then just mix it for the bottom part. Just dab it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the my little olive. And I'm gonna wear some off and then I'll just highlight the top there with some much of green. I'm just gonna make sure I don't touch. Okay. Some, some. Okay, we're going to add some little color to our hat and our glasses. Okay, I've I feel like I need a little bit more of the colonial blue right over here. Yeah, a little bit more, a little darker. So I didn't, I can't see it there. Okay, yeah, it's better. Be a little bit more here. Okay, let's add some white. Uh, first, I'm going to do the nose, and I put that with um, burnt umber Look at the bottom here. And it could be choppy, messy. Brush is a little bit big, so I'm just going to use the tip. And then I'm going to add some white on the top. Just 
So just to add a little bit of warm white. So I start from this end here. And just like a messy little sloppy highlight for his nose. There you go. Okay, for the uh for this is a dry brush and um I use a mezzaluna brush for that. So I have, uh, I'm gonna need a fresh puddle of warm white. Okay, so I loaded my brush and I'm just gonna wipe a little bit. So it's kind of like a dry brush. Maybe pull towards you. Okay. And then for the glasses, I'm going to pick up a fresh puddle and just wipe it. And I'm going to have some on the glasses. I'm going to put some over here. Right. I'm going to put some on the top of the mat. Heart. I feel like you have to go back and add a little bit more highlight than until it's dry and then go back. Okay, and uh, you can add a little bit to the um, team of the right here. Okay. Good about everything. Now I wanted to add some color along the, um, the snowman and do the outline of the martini glass. So I used the extra um, long detail and I used the lamp black. So I just outline the um, glass. My toothpick was done with the burnt umber. I did the bottom a little thicker. And then you kind of have to judge where the handle is going to be. So I'm going to just take burnt umber and do my toothpick. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, some shadow and that is done with uh, the Royal Blue. Yeah, Royal Navy around yep. and I'm going to use my angle brush okay so I did what I did was uh, underneath and the left side so I did like underneath the boot okay I did underneath Not going all the way, just partial. And I lost my name. Okay. 
Oops. And clean my brush. I oh, just want to fix this. So I did this a little bit wider than I did I did over here. Okay, and where else do I need? I'm gonna put one underneath this leg right here. And along the arm. Oh, I've got to make sure I don't touch the black. I'm going to dry that so I can go right through there. I have to put it along right here. And make that just a little darker right over here. Okay, so I did this side, which is the left side. And I have to do over here. No, I did that. Okay, I want to make this a little darker. Oh, underneath the nose right here. Right here, the hat. Okay. Okay, I have here, you can use a variety of uh, pens for outlining. So you, I have the, the white jelly roll. There's uh, three sizes. There's a, a five, eight, and a 10. You can use um, the Micron uh, Pigma pens. There's different sizes for that. And you can use the Uniball uh, black pen. So I did for the white highlights, and make sure everything's dry. Um, add a couple here. I added some dots on the cheeks. I did a highlight going down here in the arms. I do a little highlight on the okay now for the outline you gotta make sure this is dry though to uh um to use these I'm gonna use happy number one so what I did was I went and I did a couple lines going down so it's not showing as much. Okay, there we go. So I did a couple lines. A little stitch. Okay. 
me turn it on a piece of paper. Okay, and then a couple of stitches here. It my pants are not writing very good. I did around the body as well. So they're not straight lines. And around the base a couple times. Now for the carrot, I did some little lines, like indented lines. Carrot. And then the body as well, you go a couple times around the body. And the arms too, even if it's, you, you want it to be black, you'll see it once uh, you have it up close, you'll see it on the brown. Oops, that went really bad. I don't know if I can wash that off, but it's okay if I don't. Went way off on here. Okay. Wait till it's dry. I'm going to just patch it up. Okay, I'm going to check if there's any. You can go around the olive. There. I got everything. I just want to fix this. Oops. And we just need to spatter. I'm going to put a little bit of colonial blue in there. Duh. Like that. And there I go. Okay, let's add some of this batter. Just move this. I like using a fan brush. Uh, it here somewhere. I'm going to move this. I just want to see, I'm going to do a snowflake after. And then I got everything. Okay. So I use colonial blue. And what I like doing is wetting my brush. I leave a puddle of water and really 
put your bristles in the paint. And then I like to take another brush and then just dab the handle. Okay, now I'm going to grab some more white. I'm going to clean my brush. Grab some more white. The more watery your uh, paint is, the more um, the spatter will be. You can always test this on um, paper just to see what your spatter is going to be before you put it on your piece. I do want a little bit over here. There. Okay, now my snowflake. I did a snowflake right here. And I'm just going to dry this up just so I don't put my hand in there. I used um, the modeling paste, uh, Decor Media uh, modeling paste, and a palette knife to do that part. Okay. And I use this stencil here. It's a bunch of little ones, so you can pick which one you want. Uh, which one did I use? I used that one, so I can do a different one. I can do this one right here. So place it where you want. You can have it a little off the, the hat too. So I'm gonna pick some up. You can mix this up a little bit too if you find it's going to get dry. I keep mine with um, covered with a uh, saran wrap. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit less on my brush. There you have this little snowflake. And then clean um, your palette knife and your stencil right away so that it doesn't glue. So I keep a saran wrap. This keeps it moist so that your stuff doesn't dry. So I'm going to take on a baby wipe. I'm just going to wipe off my palette knife so it doesn't dry to it. And then just gently wipe that off so you don't ruin your little snowflakes. Okay. You can add um, some um, sparkle, some glamour dust on this as well on your snowflake while it's wet. And I think I got everything. If I wanted to, I could add a little bit more stamps on the snow snowman, but uh, that's it. I really hope you like this video um, and that it's very helpful tips. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can hit the bell for any new uh, notifications. And uh, thanks for watching.